Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine. And the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. There's the whistle. Classy. Played out to the right. Questions were asked. And he's given the answers. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Good challenge. He just stood firm. It's loose. Who's getting there? Cut out in the nick of time. to win it back a chance to play it in the shot's on just to point out Peter that the fullbacks are quite high and what do they try to achieve well it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about Out wide to the right. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. It helps available out wide. Knocks it away. Tony de Vilhena. Tornstra. Shakes the shoot. Jim, your thoughts? Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Crunching tackle. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Just whacks it away. Fire Nord are ahead here. It's been a good half for them. 
pushes it out wide. It's being played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Gets it upfield. It's a loose ball. First half is done, and there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Feyenoord happy to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. And we're off again. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Utrecht just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Simon Gustafsson. Forward it goes. Tries to dink it in. Utrecht are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. It's gone out for a throw in. Hit in. Massive leap! Well, to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Looks to dink one in. Oh, that's meat. He's got options out wide. Has a hit! Last well, ditch defending, but that'll do. to the left plenty waiting in the middle meets it first time quality ball drilled in low oh how has that not ended up in the back of the net there was a cracking ball in the way he drilled it across and kept it down too This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get... Hits one! <laughs> Sticks it away! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. Utrecht can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Feyenoord take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Plays it out to the flank. It's a brilliant interception. And the counter is on. Well waited. And the shot! That's a cracking strike, and it may have stunned the palms of the keeper. Well, here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. 
Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. Play for a throw. And it's Tunster. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Emmanuelson. The final five minutes. It's Tunster! That is wayward. Very well to intervene. Classy. And Tunstra. <laughs> that is terrific skill. Gets up to hit it! Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. A decent win via a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. Your final thoughts, Jim? Fino will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity that's hard to upset.